right, the pace of inflation has cooled a little bit, but experts say those higher price tags aren't disappearing anytime soon. And with high meat prices sticking around, many Utahns hope to cut out the middleman cost by buying beef direct from the source. But will it keep our grocery budgets from getting butchered? There you go. Well, we asked our inflation buster, Matt Gephardt, to check things out. Hey, Matt. Debbie, Mike, good evening. Yeah, when you think about making an investment, what comes to mind? Stocks, real estate, how about a heifer? Some folks are investing in cows as a way to bring down the price they pay for beef. It is dinner time here in the Gibbons home. For Tacey, Skye, and Jack, it's a moment to chillax. Well, in theory. I've done a very simple... But for Mark, this night it's his turn to make... Some beef and broccoli. Yeah, not your ordinary so beef and broccoli. Mark is stepping it up. You know, special occasions. Gotta try something better. <laughs> now, nearly everything going into this meal, the sauce, greens, rice, bread, that is all supermarket bought. Everything except the beef. You select what you like and they show up and deliver it to you. And Mark bought a cow directly from a rancher. Not one that he picked out, named, and occasionally visited to scratch behind the ears. No, but that would be fun. What he actually purchased was the meat off of one quarter of a cow shared by several other buyers. You might call it cow pooling or cow sharing. Mark says he's done it for years. Because every single time I knew I was saving a lot of money. And it's not just a gut feeling because, holy cow, Mark tracks a lot of data. I'm a big nerd. Yeah. I keep all these spreadsheets. Hey, man, I appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> In those spreadsheets, Mark recorded the weight of every cut of meat delivered. During that pound for pound, he found that the $768 he paid for the cow would have cost him $1,387 at the supermarket. So I've saved $620. Almost half. Almost half. That's, That's pretty good. Half. These would be what an average farmer sells at auction. Rancher Heather so Limone of the Crossy Ranch says it can be a money saver, but finding somebody with a cow to spare these yeah, days yeah, is getting yeah, harder. Inflation is driving up their costs. Fertilizers more, water costs more, electri well, water and say electricity costs more. And then there's the drought raising the price of feed. And that's why I reduced my herd way down. The Crossy Ranch is not alone. The drought has forced many farms and ranches around the country to reduce their herds. That, according to the Utah State University agricultural economist Dylan Fates. We'll probably be somewhere around 5% less total beef in the market. That means prices could be up as much as 10% next year. Another obstacle Utahns face is finding an available plant or butcher to actually process the beef. Fate says that cow sharing has surged in popularity. Now, some butchers are booked out for months. Unless you've got a tie-in with a producer, you may have to wait a bit. All right, so assuming you can find a cow and you can find a butcher, can buying beef in bulk be an inflation buster? You bet. Just ask this longtime customer who has certainly done his homework. I bring out my scale and I weigh them as I'm putting them into the freezer. Very organized. <laughs> yeah, I got my <laughs> roast here, my burger here. And... There is, of course, a one-time cost on top of the meat. A new no-thrills freezer big enough to hold a quarter of a cow is going to cost around 400 bucks. But it's not just about inflation busting the, for the Gibbons. They say they also savor buying local grass-fed beef. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I like it. That's right, you need the freezer, don't you? You know, in the freezer, you're in charge. You don't have the freezer, not an inflation bus. No. <laughs> you already have the freezer, save yourself some money to go. Right.